Hey, H, uh, where are you going? I'm going on an adventure. Ringo 2000 and I'm Atomic Age and today we are doing something a bit different we are doing the innuendo bingo slash innuendo challenge yes we are and hopefully we won't be vomiting all of this out so basically if you don't know what innuendo bingo is it's basically where you fill your mouth full of water <laughs> then uh, a sound bite taken from TV or radio in any British is played completely out of context making it sound like an innuendo Let's get started with this, eh? Yeah, so let's fill our mouths full of water. Okay. Right, so this is the last time. We're yeah. going to start with the first... Goodbye, goodbye everyone, we're not going to be able to talk anymore. We're going to start with the first one. <laughs> and now over to TV's Phil Spencer. Today I'm nursing a semi. I don't know where this next clip's from, but it is one of my faves. Ready? Here we go! Now Roger's pressuring Tina to let him fix it today by pumping some of his special fluid into her pipes. <laughs> See if he holds it this one. I will be wow. spending tomorrow building a brand new barbecue, having friends over for late afternoon nosh in the garden. <laughs> and now, over to the tennis. Besides very talented French players, been very high in the rankings, actually has a winning record over Venus, so she likes balls that come hard to her, but... <laughs> And all over my tripod. Okay, let's try and aim in the bucket. Let's try and aim in the bucket. Look. Let's put the bucket. Look, look, there's like 10 mils of water in the bucket. Put a little bit of I'm just going to show the viewers quickly what's actually happened. So here we have our set, and the water has gone all over our set there, uh, which kind of sucks. Let's go over to Philip Schofield on the cube. There you go. You can pick up the ball. See how it feels. Oh. Yeah. How does that feel? Got quite a good weight on it. <laughs> Let's go over to Rory McGrath. Ready? <laughs> so taste that and tell me what you can taste. That's not actually too bad at all. I want to have a little sip then and tell me what you think of it first. Guys, what do you think? Not bad. I think I'm definitely a cockaholic. He's <laughs> <laughs> wet himself, everybody. Oh, look at that. Right, so that's uh, mm. one, uh, one, one love. One love. One love to you. Hopefully, we don't talk about tennis again. Over 3,000 feet in the air, it's the first time 59 year old Fiona MacArthur has ever been winched. One more. We're going back over to TV's The Cube. The gap between the balls and the hole seems a lot, lot further <laughs> than what it did out there. Check it out. Look at my hair. I look 
So I, I, I've, wet, uh, I've wet my leg now, guys. That's what you get. Oh. All right, let's do some more. This is a classic bit of F1 now for you. Are you ready with the waters? Let's go. He was limiting them up like he was a pianist getting ready to perform. <laughs> Two nil to me, man. I like triple out of your mouth. I'm sorry. He's limbering up like a penis. <laughs> getting ready to perform. He's very enthusiastic, I guess. Mind your head a little bit. We're staying with Five Life, and this is the story of Tiger Woods' life. Tiger Woods, nerves hold firm. He rams the three-footer into the middle of the hole. Oh, I just, I just choked me. Right, two one. <laughs> two one. Still, do you have? Still got all to play for. And can we ask, what is going on with Gordon Ramsay here? And it will shake, that releases it, and then just shake it to the end. And toss. If you haven't got the problems with tossing, then it's a special. BBC Nottingham now. It's, it's absolutely, absolutely filth these days. days. Uh, so you, you, bone, you boned out this bird then? Yeah. And she, she, she made a, a duck dish. She did, yes. That's right. Yeah. Uh, it's now 3-2 to me. Over on BBC Radio Nottingham, this reporter seems to be experimenting live on air. Come on, Ab, what, Ab, what do I do? Oh, here you go. Pop it in your mouth. Yeah. Just on it slowly. Mm -hmm. oh, what it tastes like? A bit of blackberry crumb. <laughs> last night's Arsenal-Marseille game now, which featured an impressive performance from Fanny. Over to the football now, and this commentator's really done his research. Well, he's just a big lovable lump, really. Uh, Graham Norton seemed to get inside him <laughs> last night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. And a startling invitation from BBC Nottingham's Sarah Julian. If you like parking a nightmare in the city, if you live in the city and you've got to get involved with this visitor parking scheme, we're looking for your thoughts on it, having a, a debate this evening, a mass debate. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cool, mate, I'm cool. I don't think either of us get a point for that one. No, no. Um, so that's, um, 2-4 still. 2-4, uh, so, I won that spray on the champion. So, so, yeah. I think we should put that a day. Yeah. In the After. end, what was the score? 4-2. Four 4-2. Two. Four two. Two. Four two to me. So. Have a good, good game, mate. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the innuendo challenge. Yeah. And, um, yeah, see you guys there.